So before I was doing flyers for, for the Cro-Mags, I was just another kid, you know, hanging out, you know, and people knew me as this goofy, always shooting off my mouth kid, you know. So I, had, I actually had friends in the scene, you know, and I didn't go out every night because, and this is the reason why I'm not a junkie now, is that I had two loves. One was punk rock and the other one was Dungeons and Dragons. And if it wasn't for Dungeons and Dragons, I would have been dead because that kept me out of a lot of trouble. Because, man, you got a 30, 30 level cleric, you know, you game going, you got to, you can't, you can't go see Minor Threat. You got a fucking game going, man. Fuck you guys. Straight edge guys. I'm gonna, well, anyway. And the, t so, the tie in with the cause for a long oh, agnostic oh, right, record right, is. Right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you know. Alcohol and drugs. So, <laughs> not so many drugs. But, um, so, Roger comes up to me and he basically says, Hey, Sean, we've got a, we've got a record deal. I would love for you to, um, to do the cover. Because, you know, I, I did get a reputation because of his flyers. You know, like, all of a sudden, I had a, a, a nice place in the scene. Which is, I think, the thing that I wouldn't have done anything if it wasn't for the scene. You know, I mean, I always wanted to be a cartoonist. I always drew, I always did stuff, but it was kind of like, I didn't matter, but the scene mattered. So doing it for the scene is really what got me out because I believed in it. You know, it was like, it was all of us. And that's a lot of things that, that's the thing that I think needs to be discussed more when we're going, doing the historical stuff is that it was a social thing. You know, it wasn't just bands. I mean, I would go to shows, I wouldn't go in. I didn't care about the bands drinking beer with my friends, you know, so it was it was more than just bands.